Here's the story of one woman who was at a festival when it all unfolded. They were just next to us. They were all over the place with uh, automatic weapons. So I was staying in my head, and then I was running out. I saw two policemen that they were on the festival. So we had policemen in the festival. They didn't, they, they were standing next to the cars, starting to shoot, but I realized that it's very easy to get killed by, our, by this policeman because everyone was going everywhere. The terrorists were coming from four or five places, not like one direction. So we didn't know where to go here. So then I start, I got into my car again, I drove a little bit more. I got uh, some, some, some people were shooting on me. I left the car, I start to run. I saw a, a place with many uh, pomelo, pomelo, pomelo tree. Many, many pomelo trees, like it was there like 200s, okay? So I was going in the middle, just in the middle, and I was lying in the floor. It was the second hidden that I find. And they were just all in me. And they were going tree by tree and shooting. Everywhere from two sides, and I saw many people like dying, like all around. I was very quiet. I was like, I didn't cry, I didn't do anything, but I was in one hand, I was like breathing. I said, Okay, I'm gonna die, it's okay, just breathe, just close your eyes because it was shooting everywhere, very, very close to me. Also, and then I heard the, the terrorists, I heard them. They opened a van, a big van. They were all where I was being hiding. They opened a big van and all the time they got more weapons from this car. They were in the area for three hours. No one was there. No one. No, no. The policemen from the team, yes, I saw, but they were in one side. Other side, I was sure like the army will come. Some, I, I heard some helicopters. I was sure like soldiers are going to town with robes and go into this field and saved us. But no one was there, just all these terrorists. And uh, yeah, so I, they were very close to me. So my leg was starting to, I didn't, I didn't control myself. It was like this. So I tried and I did my best. I moved a bit. When they were in this side, I heard them talking Arabic. When they were in this side, I moved a bit here. When they were in this side, I moved to the other side and start try to be much under the, the tree. So maybe when the shooting will come, they will not, touch my face so yeah and then I was lying there for like three hours and did you know what happened to your friend was she alive? I was sure she was dead I was just thinking about my kids about my friend about everything and I was said it's not the time to die for me not yet and then I started to hear some Hebrew from one side and Arabic from three different sides so I reala realized that we have some soldiers a little bit, it were like five soldiers, six soldiers. And then I start to go, I decided to go to these soldiers. Meanwhile, we're still terrorists around, but I was going to them, I was going with my hand up so they will know that it's me and I'm not like terrorist. And uh, some was putting me in a car and tell me you can go away. And they took us, they took me and another, another someone that was coming. And I was all the time was worried about my friend. And then when I was coming to the second point, someone told me there were a girl here. She was with tattoo. I showed him the photo. He said, we took her. We took her to the hospital. She's okay. But until now, I didn't contact her. I'm not sure she's alive. Because definitely I saw her with a, with a shoot in the, her stomach. So I don't know yet. I'm waiting. Maybe she's the, in the Tipul Nimrat, Cheder Nituach, something, surgery room or something. And then my boyfriend came with his uh, motorbike through all the things and he came in and picked me in some point. I was the first one to go out of the field still. It took them like two, three hours to go out and all the way people were dying, all the way on the road, young people. It's a festival for young people. Many, many people were dying in the road. Whoever tried to run away, they were shooting him from both sides. So best were to hide. Kili, your 